Welcome to the Plant Talk with me, Josh Oliver. I'm here today to tell you about a project named Plant Experiment. Here with Shara and Emma are here to tell us about their experiment. Thanks, Josh. Our experiment's very fun to do. We were glad we were doing it. Yes, I agree. Now we're going to take you step by step on our, our experiment. Hold it right there, girl. I think it's time to go to a commercial break. We'll be right back after the break. Hi, I'm Smithfield. Had you ever wanted to make your own experiment box? Why don't you try to experiment now? It has everything you want for your experiment. Watch this. $1,000 for process shipping and handling. What can I even get you so long for only a million dollars? I forgot the only one is $200. Experiment. Hello, and we're going to break now. Now we'll have Shara tell us about the information on her experiment. The first step you need to do for your experiment is make your hypothesis. What is a hypothesis? A hypothesis is a prediction or educated guess for your experiment. Our hypothesis was if I water radish plant with honey, chocolate syrup, and carbonated water in separate plants, then the taste of the plant will change. The second part of our experiment is to plan your experiment. We are going to plant six radish plants, seeds, and potting mix. Then in each one, we will do a different liquid, honey, carbonated water, and chocolate syrup. Third, you will need to figure out what materials you need. We needed a uh, radish seed, honey, one, hun one bottle carbonated water, chocolate sauce, two bottles, soil, three cups. That's very cool, but I think it's time to go to a commercial break. We'll have be right back. Have you tried Wolverine ice cream? If you haven't, you should. It's the best ice cream in the world. Let's take a bite. Mm -hmm. Good. 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 Now, Shara's going to tell you about procedure and data. Take it away, Shara. Okay, our procedure was, one, put one cup of soil in three plastic cups. Two, put six radish seeds two inches deep in the cup. Three, add 30 milliliters of each liquid, honey, carbonate water, and chocolate sauce. One liquid in each cup. Four, place all cups in indirect light. Five, measure each plant in centimeters for five days. Six, wash it. Now it's time for your break, people, and we'll be back after the break. When you get bored of cable, you skip school, so you don't know how to say the ABCs. So when you go back to school, your teacher asks you to say the ABCs. Say, um, Billy, will you please come up and say the ABCs? Okay, okay teacher. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and V. Um, where's the P? Where's the P? It's dripping down my pants. So it's too direct. Now you won't get bored. Now I'm going to tell you a little about our data we collected. Day, day one on honey, nothing happened. Day two on honey, nothing happened. Day three on honey, nothing happened. Day four on no honey, nothing happened. So pretty much nothing happened. Okay. Plant two, carbonated water. Day one, nothing happened. Day two, three sprouted, two centimeters high. Day three, five sprouted, four and a half centimeters high. Day four, uh, grew some, what? It grew a little bit more. It, yeah, six centimeters. Grew more, six sprouted, seven centimeters high. Plant three, chocolate syrup. Nothing happened but a tiny sprout in the dirt on day one. Day two, still nothing. Day three, nothing. Day four, nothing. And on day five, when we watered our plant, there were bubbles. <gasps> so now I'm going to show you a little about our graph we So you're saying mostly on plant one and plant and three, nothing happened? Yes, we are. Okay, so 
For our title, it was, How Does the Type of Liquid Affect Plant Growth? On our side, we had... <laughs> kind of hard to turn the side. <laughs> well, we can see that yeah. the green is carbonated water. water. The yellow is honey. honey the brown is chocolate, chocolate sauce. And the chocolate sauce and honey didn't grow anything. But the carbonated water went all the way up from zero to, to seven centimeters high on day five. Increased in so many ways. Isn't that awesome? Okay. Yeah. So, um, what? Mm -hmm. yeah, that was really fun to do with the graph. Now, we are going to go and let Josh speak for a little bit. Welcome back from the break, you all. Now, Emma's going to tell you about qualitative, quantitative, and the conclusion. Okay, um, I'll tell you about these things now. The qualitative data that we found is the information you collect using observe observations about and your senses. Day one, chocolate sauce plant had a tiny sprout, but nothing happened to the others. Day two, carbonated water grew two centimeters and three sprouted. The others didn't do anything. Day three, carbonated water grew four and a half centimeters and five sprouted. Nothing happened to the others. Day four, carbonated water grew six centimeters, and as you know, nothing happened to the others again. Day five, carbonated water grew seven centimeters and the six sprouted. Chocolate sauce had some bubbles. Hmm, interesting. Now the quantitative data. What information you collect using numbers, measurements, charts, and graphs. Carbonated water grew two centimeters. That was day two. Carbonated water grew four and a half centimeters. That was day three. And day four uh, was carbonated water grew six centimeters, and then it grew seven centimeters on the last day. So there wasn't very much qualitative data, but there was. What is our conclusion? Well, see, our conclusion is, this is what, this summarizes what your hypothesis is, how you tested it, and whether the data of your experiment supports or does not support your hypothesis. The purpose of this experiment was to see how this honey, carbonated water, and chocolate sauce affect a plant. The data I collected in my experiment showed that carbonated water grew the fastest and the others didn't. My, hypos my hypothesis showed that if I water a radish seed with honey, chocolate syrup, and carbonated water, then the plant will change. The plant will change. Was, it was partially supported by the data I collected. This experiment could possibly be improved by using less chocolate sauce with the honey. With the honey, we could get a dead plant and bring it back to life. An additional experiment I could do in this relation to is bring the plant back from the dead and see what happens. It might seem crazy www.com with www.com. I'm Josh Alvary, point live. 